Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this is NFL Talks with your host, Nolan Roberts. Now, today, uh, we're going to be talking, is Jason Witten a Hall of Famer? Now, I know I haven't been uploading a lot. I am sorry. Um, I am just quite busy. You know, I have a busy life. And this is just a thing I do on the side. So, I, you know, I did have a good spree of uploading a lot of videos, but I, I got quite busy, which I am sorry. But let's just get right into this. So, is Jason Witten a Hall of Famer? Now, if you do like this video, hit a like on the video. Comment down below. Uh, if you agree, if he's a Hall of Famer or videos that I should do on next, then hit that subscribe button if you are new. So, his career, he played from 2003 to 2017, did not play for the 2018 season, and then came back for the 2019 and 2020 season, just recently retiring, signed a one-day contract with the Cowboys so he could retire as a Cowboy. Um, again, he played for Dallas, and then he played for the uh, Oakland Raiders, or should I say Las Vegas Raiders now. <laughs> Amassed over 13,000 yards, over uh, 1,200 receptions, which is second. You know, both both of those stats are second by tight end all time, um, behind Tony Gonzalez. You know, the I think Tony Gonzalez is the best tight end ever to face. You know, tight ends. A lot of people to say Gronk, but the numbers that he put up were just unmatched. Uh, 74 total touchdowns, a 71% catch percentage, and started in 252 games. That is a lot of games. The longevity thing does help him a lot in this case. Um, some awards and some accolades. He's an 11-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro. Um, had 12 seasons with over 700 yards and four seasons with over 1,000 yards. Still very consistent numbers that he puts up there. Like, you know, his longevity, dude. Nine seasons with 70 or more receptions and four seasons with 90 or more receptions, as well as getting a career high 110. Um... Touchdown-wise, getting eight seasons with five or more, and also two seasons with eight or more. Um, not really a touchdown guy, as, as you can see, you know, only getting 74 total touchdowns and the, you know, 17 seasons that he played, but was definitely, like, a first down kind of guy. Like, he was a great blocker, too. Like, that's, I mean, for putting up the stats that he did, as well as being a blocking tight end, like, that's pretty insane. A little tenure I want to talk about from 07 to 2012. Amassed over 6,000 yards, over 550 receptions, 30 touchdowns, a 71% catch completion percentage. Uh, started 96 straight games, did not miss a single game. Five-time Pro Bowler and got both of his All-Pros in that uh, tenure. Um, putting that into a per-16 game perspective, that's over 1,000 yards, 5 touchdowns, and 92 receptions. Now, not insane numbers, but obviously, you know, reception-wise, it's a lot of receptions. You do that for over a period of time, and... Uh, you're gonna get up there. I mean, you gotta think. 554 receptions in six seasons. That's pretty. That's almost 100 receptions per season. Like that's just absolute consistency coming from Jason Witten here. And some extra stuff I want to talk about. From 2004 to 2019, excluding the 2018 season, he had 60 plus receptions in every single season. Had 15 straight seasons with 500 or more yards. Played 224 straight games. Um. In a period of his career, and he holds all-time franchise records for the Cowboys, such as receptions and yards. Also, one of the most consistent tight ends of all time. Um, played and, and he played on a run-heavy team. You got to think. I mean, obviously they did have players like, you know, star passing players like, uh, you know, Des Bryant and you know the Tony Romo and that connection. But you got to think the running backs they've had, uh, Emmitt Smith for a short tenure, not during Jason Witten's career, but just you know, Dallas Cowboys in the 2000s. Um, Emmitt Smith, you had DeMarco Murray, you have Ezekiel Elliott now. I mean, you got to think there's a lot of, I mean, this is just a run-heavy team. Obviously, with Dak Prescott in town now and everything that's been going on, it's kind of turned to a pass-heavy team. But for most of Witten's career, it was run-heavy. So for him to put the stats up that he did in this tenure, quite astonishing. Um, second most Pro Bowls behind any other tight end, which obviously... Or, I mean, should I say second most Pro Bowls by a tight end, first being Tony Gonzalez, who holds the record or it's, ties the record of 14 among just Pro Bowls by a player. And uh, not many people can say that they've made the Pro Bowl 11 different years. I mean, that's just, that's Hall of Fame numbers right there. Uh, my take on Jason Witten, I think he is a Hall of Famer. I don't know about first ballot, I don't know if he'll make it the first year um, of eligibility, but I definitely think within the first four to five that he will be a hall of famer i mean your impact on the game this is okay because obviously you know with greg olson how i explained about how he was not a hall of famer jason Witten and him 
did have a lot of the same longevity, consistency, and everything like that. But Olsen did not put up the stats that Jason Witten did. And that is why I put Jason Witten up on this list. You got to think, Jason Witten has around four to 5,000 more yards, as well as around 400 more receptions, uh, around the same amount of touchdowns, but has a lot more Pro Bowls. Um, and just overall has, I mean, more consistency. Obviously, uh, more consistency. Obviously, Jason Witten has been in the league a lot longer, but that's another thing. He's been in the league a lot longer. I mean, he can still play at a serviceable level, and which is really admirable for a player like him. I mean, you got to think, no one hates Jason Witten. You, you ever heard a player like, for example, people bad talk about Tom Brady winning so much. People bad talk on... Uh, Miles Garrett when the thing with Michael Mason Rudolph went down people down talk on um, simple players you know controversial players should I say that, that's the word I'm looking for um, DK Metcalf if he's a, if he is a good player he drops balls this and that Jason Witten is a player that you have to respect I mean he's just a player like um, trying to think who is a player in the league that everyone respects I'd say Julio Jones. No one really hates on Julio Jones because he's such a good player. Antonio Brown is also another one of those controversial players. But players like Mike Evans and Julio Jones, no one really hates on them because they're just so respectable and serviceable for the teams that they just, you know, they can't be hated on. Jason Wynn being one of them. He's been in the league for so long and he's put up such great numbers. And yeah, I mean, there's really, that's all there really is to it for real. Absolute great player. I, I, again, I wouldn't put him at the best tight end of all time. I put him around the four to five spot, um, possibly maybe six, depending on. I mean, you got to think. Players dominated more than him, but for the longevity and consistency that he had, that's. I mean, that's just a big thing for me personally. I don't know about you guys, but consistency and longevity is just something that I think is a big factor in going to the Hall of Fame, which is another reason why. I, People like Pat Mahomes, people say he's a future Hall of Famer. Yeah, at the pace he's going, he will be. But right now, like, he's not a future Hall of Famer. Like, he still has, like, a good amount of time to go. Like, a solid five to six more seasons before he even gets considered into being, like, a first ballot or anything like that. Um, so that's that. I do appreciate all the support you guys have recently been giving. The Jags video. I don't even, like, talk about that video. Like, you know, I don't promote that anymore, for real. And it's still going up in views. It's already at 725. Uh, it might be our first 1K video, which would be absolutely insane. Let's get to 50 subscribers. We're almost there. Um, I'm, I am going to try and pump out videos more often. I'm sorry for the lack of uh, uploading, but I'm trying to fix that. I just get busy. Um, I do appreciate the support, y'all, though, for real. Uh, make sure to hit a like on this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below if you agree if Jason Witten is a Hall of Famer or not. And uh, just videos that you think I should do. Um, anyways, guys, my name is Nolan Roberts from NFL Talks, and I will see you guys later.